I think we're good to go, Mariam. All right. Um, good morning, everyone. And welcome to today's stand-up session. So, but before we dive in, uh, Makida will give us some announcements. I think she should be joining us now. She should give some announcements before we proceed to address our progresses, challenges, roadblocks, and the likes. Um, Makida, are you there? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. Oh, thank you, Miriam. Hello, everyone, and happy Thursday. Um, so just to make some announcements, we all know that yesterday was uh, our, our interim submission day, uh, but there haven't been much of uh, good numbers, that I, I might say, but it's okay. Uh, I'm just here to let you guys know that you can still submit until the end of the final submission, which is on Saturday. Um, and also, if anyone has issues submitting or accessing the Tenex platform, you can always uh, reach out to the team. Uh, and also, speaking of uh, <clears throat> reaching out to the team, uh, it would be great for all of us for us to um, uh, answer your question if you send uh, questions to the right channel. If it's uh, about the Tenix platform, then you should send it to the Tenix support channel. And if it's uh, about the content, the challenge, you might send it to the week one uh, channel. So that would help us and all of you guys too for a quick response uh, and also, uh, yeah, engagement. So that is one. And also, if anyone has any problems uh, with understanding the questions on the challenge, and also if you guys are facing some difficulties uh, working on the uh, challenge document, please let us discuss it today, here, now in the daily. Um, uh, OK, so I think uh, Margaret, uh, uh, okay, I don't think my account is made yet. Okay, so um, so Margaret, I will let the 10x team check your account. And if you guys are not uh, using the right link, I will attach it here. So you can access the right uh, platform for UTJ because many are uh, facing uh, a challenge by accessing the incorrect link. So I will attach that here as well. So Miriam, uh, if there's any uh, questions under the challenge, please let's also uh, go through them. Okay, thank you very much, Makida. Thank you. All right, so um, this week, we, this is the fourth day of the con, and there have been some um, tax that has been given to us. I think we are done with this week's tax, which um, the submission is meant to be on Saturday. So, so far, what has been maybe your progress, the progress you've made, some challenges, some roadblocks, or perhaps if you have any questions, you can just go ahead and raise up your hand, then we can ask them, we address those questions. Okay, so um, someone in the chat box, after work, asked that, could you help me, please? I cannot get the given assignment. I can help. Okay, so um, the assignments are in the, if you check the week one channel, then you go to, we have some pinned uh, messages, which are linked to the drive, drive where the assignments are. So you can just go there. Then if you have any questions from there, you can ask on the channel as well and tag the um, respective tutors or the other, um, your peers can address them as well. So um, are we supposed to submit our current CV? Okay, well, the current CV, you can use it as a guide. The most important thing is um, you follow the steps that have been given yesterday in the tutorial, making sure that the CV has those components that we talked about. And then it should be a maximum of two pages. That is one to two pages. So if that is what you have, you can go ahead and submit. And I think the submission link should be up. So you can go ahead and submit, but you have the deadline to Saturday, 8 p.m. UTC, to make the submission. And it is better if you submit early. 
So, um, Gitel, please go ahead and unmute, ask your questions. Hello, uh, I hope you can hear me. Yes, I can hear you, go on. Uh, actually, mine is about the assignment eh, on the data set. That thing is really frustrating some of us. Like, I have yeah, been seated for like the, the last 12 hours eh, or something, eh, and I can't even get solution to that data pivoting. And so I really need some help. So I don't know if these tasks, like they are, the, oh, OK. It's good to have a challenge, but they are too eh, hard for some of us who have never been into this data analysis thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, if I get your question right, like you are new to the whole data analysis stuff, so you are struggling with the um, assignment on the data analysis, right? Yeah, yeah. A at least if we could have some Twitter to take us through sa some of the work. Hey, because I, even my back is taking actually. I've been seated for the longest time now. Okay. So um, doing the tutorial, I'm sure like they've given you some documents. So um, you, and those documents, they have links to some of the tutorials that will guide you through the exercise. So um, you can just follow through those things. And then if you have any questions, you ask on the channel. OK, um, I think someone will address your questions with them. Yeah, uh, good morning, everyone. So Gitari, can you specify your question? Which part are you having tried with? Uh, is it as a uh, data analysis or the plots or uh, sorting them or uh, which part? Generating those pivots eh, and the charts. It's really oh. tiresome. I've tried a lot of solutions, nothing is working. Okay, okay, okay. We can take a look at them, but um, uh, for everyone here, it's not a must to create a pivot ta ta table, just it does make a uh, like comparing two columns easy, but if those two columns doesn't have any relation, uh, you're not gonna get anything out of it. So you can use, you can create charts directly from the sheet. You don't need to uh, create pivots, uh, especially for this, uh, for this challenge. Um, much of the, the work does not need uh, a pivot table, but you can use it if you are familiar with it. But for the sake of time, you can just use a table as it is in the spreadsheet and create uh, charts. I, I hope that helps. Uh, okay, so uh, I thought so too that in my own reasoning, I thought uh, that I don't need a pivot table actually. Yeah. Oh, that I never knew if that was right because actually I was not seeing the relation the relationship in that data. But thank you for that clarification. So in the assignment, that section for pivot table, what do we write? Like do we say that the data doesn't need a pivot table? Uh, no, the challenge document doesn't ask you to create a pivot table. It just asks you to submit your work and your findings. Right? It doesn't really specify. Uh, uh, that you create pivots. I think it has that. Okay, I will check it and get back to, to you. Back yes, you will be. Thank okay. you. Okay. Okay. Any other questions related to this? Okay. Uh, Miriam, you, you can continue. Thank you. All right. Um. So I hope you answered your question. And if you need more clarification, you can still ask on the channel. So, uh, okay, great. So is there another question, like what are the progress you've made so far? We made some submission yesterday. So like what progress did we make on those parts and what are the roadblocks we faced so far? It does not have to just be talking about um, your challenges. You can just share what you've done so far with the group team. So please, if you want to speak up, you can unmute your mic. You can raise up your hand and then it's okay. Felicia, you please go on. Oh, um, we cannot hear you clearly. Okay, okay, maybe someone else talk. I'm talking to you. Okay, 
Okay. All right. Um, Collagio. All right, it's gone. All right. Thank you, Miriam. Um, so far, so I've been busy in um, some sessions, but I've been watching YouTube and all that. What I've been able to do with that data, okay, I used um, Power BI. I was able to impute those data into the Power BI. I uh, did a little clean up, and I was able to, based on the months, find out the irradiances, the global radiance, all these irradiances, and draw up some um, inference from there. I have not gone into the details of explaining the application of some of these data, but I've been able to uh, do a screenshot, generate um, graphs, and put it inside um, inside the reports, uh, the preliminary report. I hope by the time I'm submitting the detailed report, I will have drawn all the inferences that are required. Uh, yeah, they are to be completed. Oh, that's really great to hear. That's great. You've made some um, progress. So, were you able to submit the interim assignment yesterday? Yes, I was. One so, man. So you just continue to work on the tax and make your final submission by Saturday. Right, um, okay. And if along the way you have any question, you can just ask. All right. Thank you. So um, someone in the chat box asked that they are unable to access their 10 The email is not working. So I think this has been addressed a couple of times. And if it's with the um, password, if you are very sure that the email you use is correct, then you can, and your password as well, then you can just um, click the forget password, then reset your password. And I sure, I'm sure it should work that way. Well, if it doesn't work, just ask on the channel, use it in the in 10x channel itself. So someone will address it more. All right. Um, so Samuel, go on. Okay, thank you. Um uh, I have one question uh for the submission of uh, Saturday. Uh is there a said like uh, can we submit uh, a PowerPoint slide and uh, project document or just uh, the project uh, PDF document. Okay. Um, which of the assignment are you talking about? Okay. During when I look at the the tasks on there, it says okay. there is, there should be a PowerPoint slide, right? Okay. Okay. So um, the mode of submission is usually the PowerPoint. If they ask for a PowerPoint, then you submit the PowerPoint. And then the PDF as well. I think the PDF, um, we have the reports. Then for the CV, it's just the PDF I submit. Okay, so it is just the CV and the, the document? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, so um, any confirmation on submitted assignment, any notifications? Okay, so the... Okay, I'm like you're asking if when you submit your assignment, you get confirmation or maybe a, an email that you've submitted. I don't think you get an email that you've submitted, but your assignment has been received on the 10X platform. And if you've made the submission, it should be, it should be there. So, and after the, after the assessment, when everything is submitted by Saturday, then you get feedback and a grade as well on your assignment. So, Felicia, you're gone. Okay. Okay. Before that, just to add some clarification uh, for the question, you don't get any email or the confirmation, but when you submit, you can look at your uh, uh, assignment as displayed. I think Barakat has shared a video yesterday. So, uh, please confirm that you have submitted by because it will display your work uh, on the uh, window. All right. Uh, thank you. Also, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Go on. All right. So I, I then just like you know say some things about what I've done so far. So I also have been able to like clean, you know. The data and what I did was that you know I just tried to realize some of the 
or to pinpoint some of the data that we are not going to be useful. I don't know if I, I'm, just, I'm going to ask. I don't know if I'm correct because I realized that uh, wind wind does not affect solar. I mean wind direction. So I started just um, deleted the whole column. So am I correct by doing that? Okay, so I will have the um the ten the ten academy team that are on that assignment. I'll have them address the question. So please. Um, I'm sorry. Can you come again? Okay, so I said during data cleaning, I yeah. decided to. Yeah, check out some of those um, the data that was given. I was trying to see some that were not really relevant. So, you know, and I realized that uh, wind direction does not, does not affect solar irradiation or something. So I just deleted those columns, like just deleted those data. So I'm saying, I might correct by doing that. Yeah, okay. Oh, hello. Hi. Uh, so, like, if 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 it if it doesn't affect uh, uh, if it doesn't affect uh, the performance or the efficiency of the farm, you might you might not have to consider it in your strategy or proposal. So, just use the the features or the dimensions that you think are uh, will affect. Uh, the performance or the efficiency of the solar farm. So just use that. So for example, as stated in the, in the challenge documents, all the GHI, DNI, and also the DHI will affect the solar performance. So actually, you, you can base your, your whole strategy on that. And same as okay. also you can analyze another parameters too. If it doesn't have any effect, just leave it. Okay, okay. Okay, then. Okay, then. So um, I think my my second question would be, uh, as I was trying to visualize this data, and I was trying to plot graphs against each other. So I said, is it left to me to choose the parameters I want to, you know, draw charts against? For example, choose GNI against uh, temperature or mobility. You know, is it left to me to like think about how to relate this data? And also, I brought, you know, I just brought my knowledge of science into it. That was why I was able to, you know, I just asked ChatGPT if solar, you know, if solar is affected, the, the real part that, that is affected, that affects solar. So, and they just told me that wind direction really doesn't. That was why I was able to take it. So, um, wind direction. So, is it left to me to choose the parameters um, during graphs? Yes, yeah. Okay, some of the parameters are listed in the challenge document. You can just use it. So, for example, while you are an, uh, analyzing the average, uh, the average GHI. So, if it's if it's lower than some threshold, you might have you might conclude something. If it's above some threshold, you might conclude something. So, if if, it, if that affects the performance or the efficiency, you use that parameter. You don't have to actually make a multivariate analysis. Univariate analysis is, is more than enough for this task don't have to consider it or compare it with temperature. Just using the average GHI and DNA is more than enough. Mm. OK, OK, thank you. All right, Um. so before, Collagio, before you go, I would like to answer some questions that are dropped in the chat box. So um, they asked that how many assignments Okay, so you have um, two major assignments to submit, which is the one, the careers assignment, which is the CV, and then the technical assignment, which is the um, on the data analysis and the other technical stuff. You can find them on the um, the drive. Then you, I said you check it, and if you have any questions, you ask on the channel. Okay, so for the data driven decision making for solar farm, so the data sets has. Um, three countries you can decide to use all of them or you stick to just one of the countries so the main thing is just for you to apply the things you have been taught on those data sets 
Okay. So um, you said this is your first day of attending. Okay, so if this is your first day, well, this is what I will advise you to do. You join the channel, and by you being here, I assume you're ready to join the Slack channel. Then after that, you check the um, the pin messages. So once you've checked the pin messages, you go through your te the technical challenge document. It's like a guide. Then when you've checked your um, technical challenge document as well as the career challenge document as well, then you can, if you need any question, if you need more verification, then you go on the YouTube channel. Those sessions are already uploaded there, the videos of each sessions. So you can check those um, videos. Then you start working on your assignments because the deadline is by Saturday. So if you have any questions, you can ask on the channel. You have the tutors answer your questions. Even your peers too can answer the question. But this one you are just joining, and today is your first day. I would advise that you get to work start early, early on, and ask questions along the way. So um, we also raised up there, and color joy raised up beyond the other time. Do you still want to go? Yes, I just want to contribute to Fayshire's work. I think um, he, I guess he's an engineer and he's already thinking beyond. Um, uh, he understand the concept of that job. I think the focus of these um, assignments, I hope I'm right, is for us to actually display the fact that we understand this data and we can play along with it. It has nothing to do really with um, is this factor affecting this factor or not. However, when you have done your analysis, you can have that as your backup explanations that as the, as the assignment asks us to recommend to the management what they should do. The engineering team that has gathered those information may not be part of the management team. So we are the interface between them. Some factors that are not necessary, they've already gathered the data and we cannot send them back. So we just identify the ones that are applicable to the work at hand in order to give the management a proper um, um, information with which they will be able to make their decisions. I think that is the focus of the work for now. Okay, thank you, Collagio. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, um, Collagio. So, um, who else has want to talk about their progress? And I think we have four minutes left. So, who else wants to go? You have any questions? Okay, so, um, Fiwam, sir. Is gone. Okay. Uh, thank you. <clears throat> My question is. Uh, and is, is that how? Um, what is the correct pronunciation of your name? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. My question is: uh, We are going to do the data cleaning analysis and uh, the visualization depending on the need of the country. I think. Yes. Then you make your report on this too. And um, yes. So where uh, we can get the need of the country? Please come again. We we are going to do the data data cleaning analysis and the, uh, visualization depending on the need of the country. Yes. What need of country? So where we can oh. get the need of the country? <laughs> Why do you need to use the need of the country to analyze the data? I think the, the 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 point is to optimize the data for that country. Yeah. No, it's not. Okay. It is for you to to uh, submit a strategy for Moonlight Company. <laughs> Just read the challenge document. So in in there you will find uh, there is a fictitious company called Moonlight Moonlight Energy Solutions. So you will submit a proposal or a strategy on which farm to actually invest on. So for example, if you you have to just uh, use the data and analyze, so this farm, this farm has this kind of uh, data and I found, I found, I find this, this from the data. So we propose a strategy to the to Moonlight company in order for, to convince them to invest in that particular area. So for example, if you are using Benin, you are, you're, 
your task is your final task or the objective of the challenge is for you to submit a strategy for moonlight company in order for them to invest in Benin. So for example, you are working on the three data. So you will actually pro try to convince moonlight company to invest in those, in those uh, countries or in those solar farms. So you don't need to actually uh, think about the country's needs or anything else. I only have to fo uh, focus on the data I'm having. Yeah, just just focus on the data you have right now. Okay, thank you. All right. So, um, any other person has any question? Okay. Um, just as a uh, additional reminder or announcement. Uh, please okay. make sure that you give us access because some of the links that you have sent uh, doesn't have access. So ma make sure to give us uh, viewing access you know, on your uh, docs. Uh, All right. So, um... Thank you, everyone, and we can go on to continue to work on our challenges, on our attacks, and make sure we make the submission by Saturday, 8 p.m. UTC. All right, so have a nice day and have a productive day, everyone. Bye.